Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I'm just down here in the catacombs doing a dust devil task. We've, oh, we got a uh, superior, we'll kill him. So we are on our 138th task. So the next task after this will be quite a big point boost. So that would take us to over 700 points. And we're going for 1000 points so we can get that twisted slayer helm. So there we go, we've finished our task. We're gonna kill this, uh, choke devil first though before we leave so we've got now 650 points so we're going to head over to Konar and we're going to go get another task once I've finished cleaning superior okay so we didn't get anything good from the superior choke devil but I always seem to get terribly unlucky with the superiors I never tend to get anything good but we do get a totem piece when we do kill one down there so it's not too bad so let's speak to Konar see what task we're going to get let me guess, Metal Dragons. Ah, oh, lovely. Such a nice task. Okay, let's go and get this one done. Okay, so there we go. There's my 140th task done. So we've now got 740 points. So we need another 10 Slayer tasks to get the 150th task. And that will take us over the 1,000 points so we can get the Twisted Slayer Helm. So that's going to be my goal for this video. We're going to try and get 1,000 points. And we're going to go and get that Slayer Helm. We could use the points to do something a bit more productive, but Fashion Scape is everything in this game, and I love that Helm. So I'm going to be grinding my way towards that. So 10 more tasks, and we'll be at 1,000 points, which will be really, really nice, because I've been training Slayer for a little while now trying to get this Helm. And we are 21k away from 81 Slayer. So another uh, just over four Slayer levels, then we can go and get Abyssal Whips and... Now we're over 80 Slayer, the Slayer tasks are going to get a lot better from now on, a lot more loot, and uh, we can build up our little Slayer tab as well. So let's go to Neve and get another task. <laughs> okay, so we're just on a Worms task for our 140 second task, and we just got a Dragon Harpoon. <laughs> so that's quite nice. I've never had that before in the game, so that's a uh, easy 1.3 mil to the bank. Very nice. Okay, so there we go, coming in with level 81 Slayer. Don't unlock anything, but that's not too bad. Four more levels until we can do Abbey Demons. And we have got 92 uh, Spectres left, and that will be my 144th task. So only six more to go after this till we get our Slayer Helm. And another thing I didn't realise is I actually got 124 million total XP as well, which is really, really nice. So let's smash this task out. And then we've got six more, and then we can get our Slayer Helm. I'm so excited. Okay, so there we go. There's our 150th task. We get 270 points, and now we're at over 1,000 points, so we can now get our Slayer Helm. And we also got two Brimstone Keys this task, which is really nice. So let's head over to Neve, and we'll go and pick up that Slayer Helm. Okay, so let's speak to Neve. So let's go to Rewards and Buy. Is it Buy? Or I'll oh, Unlock. So let's go down to the bottom here and we have got the Twisted Vision for 1000 Slayer points. Could uh, use these points for saying so much better but I really want to get that little bit of fashion scope so let's get this and it is bought. So let's use the Twisted Horns with the Slayer Helm, infuse them together and here we go. The Twisted Slayer Helm, I just think it looks so cool. So now we've got this, we can uh, throw on a couple of fashion scapes and uh, look pretty good, pretty awesome. I actually just love the look of this Slayer Helm. And the next one we're going to go for is probably the KBD one, which is this one here, because we've already got the heads in the bank, so we'll probably be going for this next. So 58 points, let's see what task we got for our next task after we've bought the helm. Fire Giants, nice and easy task, I'll take that. Okay, so we're just waiting for the timer to tick down on these wines and we are coming in with 99 cooking. There we go. Finally got 99 cooking on the account. I've been putting it off for a little while, so I thought I might as well come and get it done. So there we go, congratulations, now Master of Cooking. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head over to the Cooking Guild and I'm going to go and grab that cooking cape. Okay, so we're going to talk to the head chef. And yes, please, I'd like to buy a skill cape. Sure, let's buy it. 
there we go cooking cape has been bought so as with any skill cape whenever you get it you've got to do the emote i know it's not the most exciting or hard cape to get but this is my seventh 99 on the account now so we've got 14 more to go until we're completely maxed on the 13 defense so we'll look at my stats now so we've got 99 cooking we're pretty close to 99 fletching so that might be one that i'll knock out pretty soon and the other skills they'll just come in time as and when i want to do it Rune crafting i've been really putting this off but i'm only 23 levels until 1750 total so that might be saying i might actually do soon just get my rune crafting up to maybe 50 or 60 just so we can hit 1750 total so we can use them worlds but we've been getting a lot of uh, support on my recent video oh here we go we got a fucking emote so i've been getting a lot of uh positive feedback on my last video saying that i'm finally back after having my laptop smashed up so and we're closing in on 1500 uh, subscribers so if you're liking the videos and you want to support me on the channel and keep up to date with what i'm doing it only takes you a second to subscribe to the channel drop me a comment if you want to have a chat with me down there i always reply to all the comments but it's two o'clock in the morning now so i think i'm going to go and get into bed come back online tomorrow and then see what I'm going to do next because I'm not too sure myself at the moment. Okay, so there we go. 203 gargoyles killed for 21,000 XP. Managed to get quite a lot of loot this task. We managed to get 935k, the loot tracker saying, so that's really nice. And I've also decided not to start elking my rune items and stuff because I want to build up that Slayer tab. So I'm going to come back to that at the end of the video and show you how far I've got on that. But let's head over to Neve and get another task. Okay, come on, Neve, don't do me dirty. Give me another gargoyle task. Abbey Spectres, that's not too bad, I'll take that. There we go, there's the Abbey Spectre task done. So we're now at 155 tasks, 15k XP. So let's head over to Neve and hopefully get a decent task. Hopefully not these again, we need a good task. Hopefully decent GP. All right, come on then, Neve, don't do me dirty. 13 Black Dragons, lovely, lovely. Okay, so we quickly smashed out that Black Dragon task. So let's get another one. 172 Greater Demons. Pretty good task, not too bad. Might go down to the catacombs and do that one. Okay, so there's 145 Greater Demons killed for 17k XP and 112 Slayer points now. We didn't manage to get any stuff down in the catacombs. Didn't get any totem pieces, any ancient shards. We just got this as loot, so it was a pretty shit task. So hopefully Neve gives us something better. Worms, oh, they're shit as well. Okay, so we finished the worm task, so that's 8,000 XP, so it's pretty shit, but it was a pretty quick task. So I'm gonna get one more task from Neve and then go up to Konar. So what we're gonna get, oh, lovely. Probably one of the quickest tasks in the game. I love cow fights. Okay, so our cow fight task is done. Super quick task, I love getting cow fight tasks. Cow fights, dagon offs, anything I can use the cannon on. I love them sort of tasks, it's so AFK. And 5.6k for a task that took hardly any time is pretty decent. So, come on, Kona, don't do us dirty. Kurasks. Yeah, I'll take that. Get a bit of decent XP and uh, also some pretty decent loot as well. Hopefully, we'll get some brimstone keys. And that will give us 90 points as well. So, it'll take us up to 230. So, working on... I don't know whether to get the another Slayer Helm or to get the Herb Sack. I'm not too sure yet, but... We'll decide that when we get close to the points anyway, but Herb Sack would probably come in handy more than another Slayer Helm, to be fair. Okay, so we didn't get any Brimstone Keys from that task, but we did get a Leaf Blade Battle Axe, a Torsto Seed, and a Snapdragon Seed, and a couple of other loose bits, but we're now at 226 points. So we're back up to Neve. so come on Neve, give us a good task. Blood Velds, nice, easy cannon task. Get that one done. Okay, so I was just killing the blood velds here over in Neve's Slayer Cave. Uh, we've only done about 16, 17 of them, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the cannon and I'm actually going to head over to the catacombs, try and get some totem pieces, ancient shards, and the loot's a little bit better over there as well. So I'm actually going to go and do that task over there, hoping for some better loot and a little bit more XP. There we go. It's our first Nicki Minaj of the task. Come on, Nikki, drop us the imbued heart, come on. Okay, come on, Nikki. what are you gonna drop for me? Nothing. Did get a totem piece, so it's not all that bad. Okay, so I think I'm gonna make this my last kill down here. 
We've got 44 blood veils left, so I'm just going to head over to the Neves cave and just get that finished up. But we've got two totem pieces, ancient shard, full crystal key, and also nearly 600 blood runes. So not a bad task in total. The XP down here is a lot better than the normal blood veils, and the loot is a lot better, as you can see as well. So I'm going to head back up to Neves cave and get this task finished. Uh, Nicki Minaj's younger sister has come to pay us a little visit. So come on, I know you've got that imbued heart in there. Uh, your back pocket come on give us that imbued heart come on nikki ah oh, insult blood veiled head fuck you nikki okay so there's the blood veiled task done so we got thirty five thousand xp which is really nice and 238 points now so come on neve give us something good oh wrong thing trolls oh, i hate this task there we go so that troll task is done oh wrong option Teleport up to Neve, see what our next task is going to be. Bloodfields again. Let's go. Hopefully, see Nicki Minaj's cousin. She might have that heart for me. There we go. Coming in with level 82 Slayer. I don't think we unlock anything with 82. I think the best upgrade we can get is at 85 when we get uh, Abyssal Demons. I think you can unlock Drakes at 83 i think i was saying like that but we don't get a notable unlock until 85 really so we're going to be slowly pushing towards that we're just going to get this blood veil task done we got 28 more to go okay there's the blood veil task done 25,000 xp which is quite nice next task is great demons i think i'm going to take a little break from slayer now so now we're 82 slayer i'm going to have a little break do a little bit of skilling Today there was an update with the Soul Wars area, so there's now like a bit where you can do like skilling and stuff like that, and there's two, three, two or three teak trees in there. So I'm 61 woodcut, and I want to get base 70s at some point soon. So I'm gonna head over there, go and get a little bit of AFK woodcut and XP, and see what the little area is like because I haven't checked it out yet. So let's get over there and do a bit of woodcutting. Okay, so we've made it up to the teak trees. So I'll just show you where these are on the map. So when you teleport into Soul Wars, you get taken to the lobby here, and then you can run either way round. It doesn't really matter too much, but it's right up on the other side of the island, just up here. And there is two teak trees here in between each other, and then another one here. So really good woodkin XP, because I think the only teak trees other than on the Apatow Island it's actually at Castle Wars and there's only one teak tree there. So this is a really good place with quite low requirements as well to get in here. So this would probably be a good place for a couple of lower levels to come do their woodcutting too. So we are 30k away from level 62 woodcutting. So let's keep going. So there we go. There's another big milestone on the account. 127 million total XP, which is absolutely awesome. So we're still over here woodcutting. We're now 14k away from level 65. So the levels here are pretty quick. So I'm getting about 56k an hour. So it's really, really not bad. So I think we're going to end the video here, guys. So if you have enjoyed the video and you want to support me on the channel, it only takes you a second just to hit the subscribe button. And also, if you did like it, hit the like button. Drop me a comment if you want to have a chat with me down in the comment section. I always reply. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully we'll be coming in with 1750 total in the next video. Got a couple of plans for some skills that I want to get up. So we're definitely going to hit it. So if you're looking forward to that, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys soon.